<laughs> What's up guys, here with Solve.dev. Today we are gonna go over how to fix cannot set properties of null setting inner HTML. Uncaught type error, cannot set properties of null setting inner HTML to be more specific. But yeah, what's causing this and how do we fix it? So let's go look at our code here. We've got a little boilerplate HTML document here um, with our script tag where we're trying to select an element and set the inner HTML and then the element down here. Now, when you're looking at it, you're like, all right, cool, we've got document get element by ID tango. There's, a there's an element down here with the ID tango. So that part should be working right. And then we're trying to set the inner HTML equal to hello div. So why is it saying cannot set properties of null? Well, the reason is, this part is null. This does not find anything. Um, when the document loads, it basically goes line by line, right? So we go line one, line two, line three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when we get to line nine, we're saying, hey, get the document. So it gets the document. Look for elements with the ID tango. So it looks through the uh, page and tries to find elements with the ID tango. But since we're only on line nine, there's no element with the ID Tango yet. It's down here, so that hasn't loaded into memory yet. So this returns null, and then you try to set inner HTML on null, and thus we get the error, cannot set properties of null setting inner HTML. So simple fix, all you have to do, move your script tag down after the element, so the element gets rendered. Uh, usually you'd wanna have your script tag down like right before the closing body tag. So you might have some like other, a bunch of other tags in there, but you know, just for this demo, we've just got our H1 tag. But now if we go back, um, the error is gone and it is working as expected. Now, if you move the script tag down there and it still doesn't work, I would also check for spelling errors because if you have a spelling error, that's also gonna cause the same thing. Like maybe it's, it's um, actually if you're a new developer, the first thing I would check when you run into an error is that everything's spelled correctly because when I was new dev, that was like that was definitely one of the biggest mistakes I would make. Um, anytime, probably like 60, 70 percent of the time, if I had a bug, it was me spelling something incorrectly. So definitely go back and check the spelling first because it's trying to find an uh, element by the ID TNGO. And there's nothing on the page with that ID, so we fix the spelling mistake, we save, and then it's gone again. But if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, we've also got a Discord channel. If you wanna come talk tech with me or any of the other devs in there, link for that is in the description. I uh, hope this helps you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows I'm doing good stuff and I will make more content like this, more of more common bugs new developers run into when they're using JavaScript. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.